Well, she is a playwright, an author, an actress, and activist on Broadway. Her musical Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations was nominated for 12 Tony Awards. Now she has a new play set to premiere on Broadway this month, showcasing her hometown of Detroit, its struggles, and most importantly, its resilience. Dominique Moriso joins us on Live in the D to talk about the show's Skeleton Crew. Hey, Dominique. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm very happy to be speaking with you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. And also thank you for being a champion for Detroit. Absolutely, this is my hometown and I, I love it and it's where all of my family is, so it's, a, it's an absolute must. So your family's probably watching right now, I, I would imagine. I'm sure they are, or recording it, or some version of that. <laughs> hey, yes. fam. Hi, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> let's talk about your love for your hometown. It never leaves you in you know all that you do from Broadway and, and beyond. Why is it so important to be a champion for our city? Well, you know, both my husband and I are both from Detroit or Detroit area. I'm from Detroit, he's from Southfield, and we uh, went to school at Michigan at, in Ann Arbor. And while we were there, you know, during the time that we were there, Detroit was really stigmatized in a certain kind of a way. And uh, and it was it became a reflection, you know, of how we felt we saw ourselves and how people saw us. And, and so when I, when I uh, started reading August Wilson's plays, he writes about his hometown of Pittsburgh. And when I saw how he captured the way that Pittsburgh speaks and their, their, their jazz and their rhythm and their blues, I was like, oh man, I have to do that for my city. Just so that we have other narrators of our city and so that the stories of Detroit come honest and from people that know us best. All right, speaking of Detroit, Skeleton Crew is your play starring Felicia Rashad. You, we have a picture of you with the cast. It premieres on Broadway this month and it takes place here in the city. Tell us all about Skeleton Crew. So this play is about, this is about the heart of Detroit. This is about Detroit in 2008 during the uh, pending auto industry collapse, you know, and the foreclosure housing crisis that was happening and things that affected my own family and friends personally. Um, but this is really about a family of workers who work at a small, the last fictional stamping plant in the city. Um, and it's an homage to all of the auto workers. You know, I talked to a lot of folks in the UAW when I was working on this play, when I was originally doing research, I, I wrote this play um, almost 10 years ago, about 10 years ago now. And I had, you know, I have so many people in my family that worked in the factories at, at, at different levels, whether they were blue collar or white collar, you know, and, and the, the basically the factory built, you know, not only our town, but it built my family's legacy in the city. And so for me, um, this story is about four auto workers who find out their plan is closing. And it's really about how they fight for each other's jobs and for each other's humanity and for them not to be taken for granted by their company. And it's and it's and it looks at people on both sides of the white collar, blue collar line. It looks at, you know, a lot of the different things that are going on, but it's the it's a workers' rights story. It's a union story. And so I'm, I'm really proud of it because those are the people that I come from and I wanna yeah. make sure I represent them well. Okay, we have about a minute left in our window. Uh, there's no ball of confusion here. Uh, you must be on cloud. <laughs> you must be on cloud nine about the success of uh, "Ain't Too Proud to Beg." See what I did there? Yes, I saw what you did there. And "Ain't Too Proud" is going to be on tour. It's coming to Detroit in August, and so I'm excited about that as well. You know. What is your uh, next move for you? Uh, the next thing, my husband and I, Jay Keys, Jimmy Keys, we're both working on Soul Train, the musical. So that's oh, cool. the next venture that we have coming to Broadway. So, uh, you know, be on the lookout for that in a couple of years. Yeah. And when it opens, are you and your husband going to do the Soul Train line? <laughs> absolutely. I mean, the Soul Train line is inevitable <laughs> in a Soul Train musical. So absolutely. All right, Dominique, that's our time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Our pleasure. And uh, hey, fam. All right. Uh, hey, fam. Talk to you over to you.